everybody, it's Emily. I'm going to make a Rice Krispie Treat dog today on the YouTube channel uh, tutorial of the day. So what we're going to do is we're going to make a Westie. And a Westie is like a little white terrier dog. So I'm going to show you guys how to make a Westie. And then you can follow along with me. And if you need to pause the video or if you have questions, um, just let me know. Hopefully this will be helpful for you in figuring out how to make Rice Krispie Treat figurines because this is something that I do pretty often. So hopefully this will be helpful for you. So, sorry you can't see my face, but what I've got here is a cake that I've already baked and decorated. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my little dog on the side here. So I have angled my cake a little bit to the side of the cake board over here. So it's just a little bit off center because I want to have enough room to put my little dog and to anchor my little dog on the edge of the cake. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and just put this to the side. But this is going to help me. And if you haven't made your cake yet, if you haven't baked your cake yet, um, your average cake if you're using two inch uh, pans, two inch high pans, your average cake is gonna be about four to five inches high or tall. Um, so if you have a cake that is four to five inches tall, then you can kind of eyeball that based on um, what kind, what size of figurine do you need to make. So if you don't have your cake already made, then just keep in mind that your average cake is about four to five inches tall. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and set my cake aside. The other thing that I'm, the other things that I'm gonna need to make my Rice Krispie Treat pet are obviously Rice Krispie Treats, and I like to get the ones that are already made. I like to get the ones that are already like pre-packaged, so I don't have to do it myself. It makes it life so much easier. So I'm gonna need those. I'm gonna need some send out icing. Um, a lot of times this is called a crumb coat. Um, so this is just your basic uh, buttercream icing that I have thinned out with some water. So you can see it's like not super thick, but it's not super thin either. But this is going to be the kind of base coat for what we're going to make with the dog. So I've got some icing. You're going to need some toothpicks. Those are helpful. You're going to need some skewers because those are helpful too. Um, you're going to need something to cut your skewers with. I have these, I call them loppers, but I have these um, floral shears that I use to cut my skewers with. So you're going to need that. And then when you get ready to, whoops, when you get ready to ice and decorate your dog, you're going to need some icing and to make a uh, dog fur or a terrier dog fur, they're kind of shaggy. I am using a tip number 18 um, and just the plain white buttercream. And then I also have some fondant. I have some black fondant and I have some red fondant. And the red fondant I'm just gonna use to make his little tongue. And then the black fondant I'm gonna use to make his eyeballs and his nose. Um, so these are the tools that I'm going to need today to make my Westie dog. So I'm going to go ahead and get started on the dog. So first off, i got to get my Rice Krispie Treat out here. And depending on the size of your figurine, you might need quite a bit. So usually, usually I find these at the grocery store um, in the snack aisle where granola bars are. Um, and normally you can get them for like two for five dollars or you can get the big uh, 18 pack or like a 10 pack or something like that for six bucks uh, and that's here in Tennessee so that's what I'm going to use. I'm just going to unwrap a bunch of these.
Okay, so again, my little dog is going to have to be the height that I need him to kind of have his front paws appear and his head appear on the side of the cake right here. So I'm going to have to kind of measure out how tall I want my dog to be. So I'm going to use a couple of these for his body, and then I'm going to use a couple, like just one that's cut in half for legs. So I'm going to use two that are cut in half for his four little legs. So I've got the dog body and four legs so far, right? And then I'm going to use one or two uh, for his head and um, fashion his ears and that kind of thing. So I'm going to sculpt his head. So the easiest way to do this, I have found, is to go ahead and sculpt your, your body first. So these are obviously rectangles, but you can easily just see how I'm just like just squeezing these. You can squeeze these in any shape you want them to be. So I like to squeeze these together. I squeeze them together and make like a log. Okay. And when you squeeze them together, that also crushes the Rice Krispies. And it makes it a little bit easier to mold. Because you don't want a lot of sharp edges. Dogs don't have sharp edges. Except on their claws and their teeth. So we don't want a lot of sharp edges on our dog body or whatever figurine you're making. And dog bodies are a little bit smaller at the hips than they are at the trunk. So you want to make your log a wee bit smaller on one end than you do on the other. And again, you can press this out. You can, you know, kind of sculpt it and mold it however you need it to be. Um, and again, with your sculpting and your molding the Rice Krispie Treats, it crushes the cereal a little bit. So that way you have an easier time getting those smoother edges. So that's going to be like my little dog body. And then I'm going to make him some little dog legs. So again, I'm just going to kind of mold these, smoosh these into little logs. And just do all four smooshed into little logs. You can kind of roll them on the table if you want to. That helps smoosh, smoosh them out a little bit better, smooth them out a little bit better as well. You want your little dog legs to be pretty uniform in length and size. So just kind of line them up and just make sure that the size is good. me four little dog legs, <laughs> dog legs that I've rolled out here. And I have my dog body. And so what I'm going to do is, again, you want your, your dog legs are going to be on either side of your dog's body. So you've got your dog body, you want your legs to be on either side of him. So that's where your toothpicks come in. So I'm just going to take a couple of toothpicks and just going to just stick a toothpick right down the center of your dog leg. This one's broken. So, you know, dog leg. Dog leg. Okay. So, 
two dog legs. So I'm going to attach these to the dog's butt. <laughs> dog butts. Um, and again, my dog is going to be up on the side of my cake. So he's going to be kind of angled. So you want to kind of angle his little legs on either side as well. Okay. So make sure that's anchored in the dog body. And you can you can even just go ahead and stick them in the body where you want them to be and then just attach. So and then all you want to do is just kind of mold the tops of the legs up around the bottom of your dog body. So you want to attach and kind of mold the legs into the dog's bum. Okay. Because you know how dogs are. And then you'll want to kind of angle them a little bit because dogs have knees, right? And so you want the dog to have his little knees like so. So you angle the little dog's knees and you've molded his legs up into his bum. Okay, so there's our little dog legs. And again, like I said, he's going to be kind of on the side of the cake. So you can stand him up on the side of the cake. There he is, right? So I'm going to just kind of make sure that's good and sturdy there. Then we've got his two front legs that he needs to have attached. So we've got his little back legs on there. Then, you know, you want him to have his arms so there's little legs up on the side of the cake like this. Okay, so we're just going to attach his front legs to the sides of the body, like so. And again, this is where your toothpicks come in handy. So just stick that, just stick that in the side of the body, and then you can attach your front legs. And then you can even stick one toothpick kind of through the middle if you want to, or like a couple of toothpicks through here at various angles. And that can help you, you know, make your dog legs a little more sturdy. So stick those on there like that. It's okay if your toothpicks stick out a little bit. See how like I don't know if you can tell, but like the very end of the toothpick is sticking out a little bit right here. And that's okay because we're gonna cover that with icing. Okay. So again, we've got our dog body, we've got our little front legs that are attached up here at the shoulders, and you're gonna want to again mold your doggy legs kind of as the shoulders just mold those up against your dog's body okay so you know, dogs have their joints are all kind of together okay so and then I'm going to stand him up again just to make sure that he's the right side and he is he's looking good and I'm going to later when I finish this, um, when, I, when I put him on the cake, I want him to be kind of anchored into the cake. So I'm going to use some toothpicks or skewers to anchor his paws down into my cake. So I'm going to take these 
I'm going to take these toothpicks and I'm going to stick them down in here and anchor his paws into the side of the cake. But I'm not going to do that just yet. But you can go ahead and kind of like set him on there and then that way you have a little place that you've kind of marked on the cake where he is going to lay. Alright, so now I need my dog's head and you just take your Rice Krispie Treat again and just mold it into a ball. I'm just crushing this down into a little ball and I think that's good. You want to make sure everything's proportional so if you have you know your dog's head and that looks that looks pretty good that looks like a pretty good little dog head because um, we're gonna make his ears too out of this other crispy treat. So I've got his head here. Okay. And then I, he needs a tail and he needs ears. So I'm just gonna take a piece off the end of this crispy treat and just fashion a little tail. Again, you just make it into a little log. You can roll it on the table. You can roll it in between your fingers, roll it on the table whatever you need to do, and just fashion him a little tail, okay? And I'm going to attach the tail last, because I'm going to have to ice him, which you'll see in the next video, okay? So, got the tail, and then just take another piece off of your crispy treats, and make him a couple little ears, okay? So I'm going to make just a couple little ears, and then again, dogs' heads are not completely round, so that I'm going to use, I'm going to kind of shape it into, so you just want to get the proportions first, and then you shape it into a dog's snout. So, you know, this is kind of like how a dog's head looks. It's longer, has a longer little snout. Now, some dogs, like dachshunds, I mean, they're all nose, right? But a Westie is just a little terrier. So he has more of just the standard dog snout look to him. Okay, so I'm just making my little dog head here. And then I'll take my little ears that I have fashioned and I'll just stick them on top of my dog's head like so. And then I have a little dog face. See that? See the little dog face? So cute, little puppy. Okay. And then what you'll do is you'll take your dog head, make sure that it fits proportionally, and you make a little bit of a neck. Sometimes this is a problem whenever you have um, when you mold like people sculptures. They don't have a neck. Um, they're just a head on shoulders, and you know people are not just a head on shoulders. So I always try to fashion a little neck, just a little round piece that's going to go on the top here, and then that gives your dog a little neck. Okay? So that's how you mold your Rice Krispie Treats into whatever you're making. Like I said, we're making a Westie today. So in the next video, I will show you how to um, ice him and how to assemble him um, once he's finished.